Navigating using the moon can be a helpful skill in a survival situation, especially during the night when other natural navigation methods like the sun or landmarks are not readily available. The moon's position and phase can provide you with information about direction. Here's an in-depth guide on how to navigate using the moon. Moon phases. Understanding the phases of the moon is essential for navigation. The moon goes through a regular cycle of phases, which can be broadly classified into four primary stages. A. New moon. The moon is not visible or barely visible as it aligns with the sun. B. Waxing crescent. A small, crescent-shaped slice of the moon is visible on the right side. C. First quarter. Half of the moon is visible, appearing as a right-facing, D, shape. D. Full moon. The entire face of the moon is visible, appearing as a complete circle. E. Waxing gibbous. More than half of the moon is visible, but it is not yet full. F. Last quarter. Half of the moon is visible, appearing as a left-facing, D, shape. G. Waning crescent. A small, crescent-shaped slice of the moon is visible on the left side. Note. The moon phases cycle from new moon to full moon and then back to new moon again. Moonrise and moonset. Knowing the approximate times of moonrise and moonset is important to utilize the moon for navigation. You can refer to moon phase calendars or use smartphone apps that provide moon-related information for your specific location. Moon and Cardinal Directions A. Northern Hemisphere 1. During a waxing crescent, the illuminated side of the moon will be facing west in the evening sky. 1. Therefore, the moon will generally rise in the east and set in the west. 2. During a first quarter, the illuminated side of the moon will be facing south in the evening sky. 2. The moon will rise around noon and set around midnight, crossing the sky from east to west. 3. During a waxing gibbous, the illuminated side of the moon will be facing east in the evening sky. 3. The moon will generally rise in the east and set in the west. 4. During a full moon, the illuminated side of the moon will be facing east in the evening sky. 4. The moon will rise around sunset and set around sunrise, crossing the sky from east to west. 5. The moon's orientation and direction are reversed in the southern hemisphere compared to the northern hemisphere. 6. During the waxing crescent, first quarter, waxing gibbous, and full moon phases, the moon will generally rise in the east and set in the west, following the opposite direction compared to the northern hemisphere. Using Moon Direction for Navigation 1. The moon can act as a general guide for east and west during the night. 1. By knowing the moon's current phase and its approximate rise and set times, you can determine the general direction of east and west. 2. For example, if the moon is rising in the east, you can assume that east is in the direction of the moon rise. 2. West will be in the opposite direction, toward the moon set. 3. It's important to note that the moon's path may not align exactly with east and west, so use it as a rough guide and combine it with other navigation methods if possible. Remember, the moon's position and phases change throughout the night and from night to night. Therefore, it's essential to be aware of the moon's current phase, rise, and set times for accurate navigation. Additionally, familiarize yourself with other navigation techniques, such as using stars, landmarks, or compasses, to ensure a reliable sense of direction in a survival situation.